Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell the coolest Japanese collectibles straight out of Japan. Please check the description of the video for more details, including our Facebook page and our eBay store. So today I'm going to review some figures of both Frieza and of Goku. Because, let's face it, any Dragon Ball Z figure collection is not complete without a Frieza and a Goku. Because, at least in my opinion, it's the, uh, it's the coolest fight or the best fight in the whole series. I mean, a planet gets blown up, a, a tyrant of the universe gets defeated. What more could you want, right? And the Frieza saga really is the climax of the Saiyan saga as well. So, um, you know, you might be wondering, well, what's the best two figures to have for that fight? Well, this is the question I'm going to answer right here. So I'll start with the two figures in the front. So this is obviously Final Form Frieza and Super Saiyan Goku. And these were two Ichiban Kujis that were released alongside the S Cultures figure line, Series 1. So, if you don't know what they are, this is, uh, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku was from that line, as was Piccolo. And the boxes looked like that. So if you've seen these boxes, that's what I'm talking about. Banpresto is still releasing new figures in that line, but this was Series 1, and they released two Ichiban Kujis along with that. So, at the box for them. So this is what the box looks like for Frieza. And it's actually marketed as Dragon Ball Kai, I think, yeah. And then, this is what the Goku box looks like. It's not so straight. They do obviously come in the plastic, so they, they do actually sit there properly. So, it's a bit messy. Anyway, that's, that's what the boxes look like. The back's nothing special really, just sort of shows you the So this is this is one of this is my favorite Frieza figure, and it's indeed one of my favorite figures because it has what I call the wow factor. It's just it's figures like this that define Japanese figures, and I mean the detail on this is just amazing. It comes in three pieces: the energy piece, the the steel rod here, or the metal rod. I don't know if it's steel or not, and the actual figure itself. But you can just see the detail. I can get the damn thing in focus. There we go. So just you can see all the veins and the scratches and the blood and everything there. You can see the muscles under the, the blue pieces. Just no detail has been spared. Look at the muscles in his like right shoulder thing, you can even see a vein. If I can get this in focus, come on. No, that's not going to go in focus, that's really annoying. There we go. Yeah, it goes out of focus if I get too close. But, um, amazing figure. It was only released a couple of years ago, so it's not really valuable. I mean, like, really expensive, this figure. So, yeah, now it is, it is a little bit wobbly because it has this part at the bottom which attaches, and I don't know why they did that. It does actually, it's uneven, so it wobbles a bit from side to side, but it doesn't fall, so unless you actually touch it, it's, it's not really going to move around. So that's Freezer. This is Goku, which was released, so these two were a set. So I love the base, lots of detail there, but the energy waves, these are pretty flexible, so they're not, they're not really going to break unless you really try to. And you can see all the nice toning and colouring in his outfit. Uh, I would have liked to have seen a bit more like blood and scratches like the freezer. And he's like really like kind of damaged but all his clothes, but yeah, his body looks 
absolutely fine. So I think they could have done that a little bit better, but anyway. Quite a nice glossy finish to the hair as well. I don't know if you know, don't know if you can tell. In there. So uh, they look quite nice as a set. But to be honest, if I really had to choose a Super Saiyan Goku, I'd choose this one. It's probably not as good as quality, but I just love the pose. I love the stance. You can almost hear him screaming, like my mouth wide open, eyes looking angry. Really cool, and it's hard to see, but it actually does have yellow energy waves around the back. So it kind of matches with you know the energy waves here. So it wouldn't look so silly having them together, even though they're from different lines. So uh, that's a pretty, it's a pretty nice figure. Sold quite a few of those as well. So uh, yeah. So if we now look at the back, so this is first form freezer, and uh, there's quite a few pieces to this, which is why I left it in the plastic to show you properly. So you have a couple of clear pieces to attach underneath and around the back, and he sits on like that Namek sort of grassy piece. This one going to focus today, does it? Um, and you can actually lift him out of there and sit him on his legs. So that's one option that you can do as well. And you can change the arms and the tail as well. So I should have a couple of tails you can choose from. I'll show you the back, what that looks like. So. so yeah, and his, his neck actually does... crook forward a bit, like you can see that there. So it does look a little bit funny from side on, but from front on, I mean, it looks it looks good, I think, because that's sort of how he should look like, I think, it makes him look evil. But if you just have him sitting on his legs, I don't, I don't think it looks as good, so I think it's better to keep him in the space pod thing. And you could also like make some pretty cool like scenes with him, with his henchmen, like these guys. You know, so you could have like Freezer in his space device and then have his henchman behind him or in front of him or whatever. It's, it's a pretty large figure actually, the, the Freezer. I don't think you realise, it's hard to show just how big that is. But it's quite large. So, um, yeah, and there's also going to be a Bardock released next month actually. In his sort of final moment when he shoots the energy ball at Freezer. So you could make a really cool scene of that. And then there's this one. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one because it, it's actually a custom piece. It's not a commercially available figurine. We can try and get one for you if you want. Um, but Because the seller has made a few of them. But yeah, it's pretty expensive, obviously. And uh, it's very, very heavy. So it's very costly to ship as well. But um, yeah, it's a pretty nice customized piece. Which I'll, I'll have a look at that more in a, in a different video and I'll talk about the differences between customised pieces versus fake because there is a big difference. But anyway, that's uh, that's a bit of a, a look at some of the SS Goku and Frieza figures available. Of course, there are more. There's a lot more that you, you could get. You know, there's first form Frieza or there's, you know, second form Frieza and there's there's lots of different ones that you can get. But I think there are a few of the best ones. Thanks for watching.